In this tutorial, we're going to build a custom login form using Elementor. This is the WordPress login form that we've all come to know and love. And this is the custom one we're building in this video. You don't have to build exactly this, but the techniques you learn, you'll be able to build any kind of login form that you want. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below this video. I try to answer them the best I can. And leave a thumbs up if you like this video. My name is Bjorn Allpass from WP Learning Lab, where we help you get better at WordPress so you can earn more for yourself, for your customers, and for your business. If you have not done so yet, please make sure you click subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss any future videos. And now let's build this login form. To build this login page of the plugins we have installed, the most important ones are Elementor and Elementor Pro. Elementor Pro has the login functionality that we need. And once we have those two installed and activated, we can just go to Pages and then Add New. And let's just call this login page, click on edit with Elementor, and here's our blank page. I'm going to change this to canvas because I don't want the header or the footer for the login page. So I click on the gear icon on the bottom left here. I'm going to change the page layout from default to Elementor canvas. And that gives us a completely blank screen aside from the Elementor widgets here. I'm going to click on the plus icon. I'm going to add a section. I'm going to make it four columns. The two outer columns will just be for spacing. The middle left column is going to be the information panel that you saw, and the middle right column will be the actual login form itself. First thing we're going to do, click on the six buttons or the six dots to go to the settings. I'm going to change the height from default to fit the screen. So now the form is going to be the entire screen, no matter how big the screen is. I'm going to change the background color of this one, just so we have something to look at visually. Change it to that nice orange color, it's a little bit intense, that orange right there. Let's make it uh, about like that. And the login form widget, it's going to go in here. So let's look up the login form, drag and drop that right there. Boom, login widget in place, and information panel background also in place. So you can see the forms already coming together. Let's change the spacing. Let's change the width of the outside ones to 10%. Just dragging and dropping on the dotted line to resize these. Then I want to make the information panel a bit larger. There we go. I'm going to add some padding around the form to make it a little more comfortable, to make it less visually cluttered. Click on the pencil icon, go to advanced. Under the padding option, click on the link. If we don't uncheck that, if we change one number, all the numbers will be changed to the same amount. And we don't want that. We want to have it unlinked. So go to unlink and for the top, let's have 75. It's also adding it to here. Because the padding is changing the height of the entire column, it changes the height of the entire section. So this panel is affected as well, and that's okay. Bottom, I'll make that 75 as well. And on the right, make that 20. And on the left, 20. And we can see a little more space around our form. And now I wanna shrink the information panel down a little bit. It's a little bit large. And uh, there we go, that looks pretty good. There's a login form. I'm not going to change too much else aside from styling. So let's go to the pencil icon. Let's go to style. Let's go to fields. I'm going to change the background color from white to a light gray. You can see it's changing in the field. And I'm going to add a border. I'm going to make it one pixel thick. I'm going to change the color of the border to be a little bit darker than the field. So it's pretty subtle. And I think I might turn the labels off. I think that'll be more appealing. There we go. I like that. And then I'm going to change the button to be a different color. Let's make it this gray right here. And this is normally not a color you want to have on a button where you want people to take an action. For example, if this was an opt-in page, you wouldn't make a button bland like that. You want it to stand out. But this is a login page. People have come to this page to log in. So you don't have to do anything crazy with the button because they already want to find the button. They know where to find the button. So there's no need to make it stand out. So I'm going to make it gray. And I'm going to change the text on the button just slightly to be log me in exclamation. Make the button medium. Center it. Yeah, I'll center it. Looks pretty good. And I'm just going to add some content on the panel, on the left-hand panel here. I'm going to add a heading. I'm going to say something pretty basic. Welcome, period. And that period is just fancy design. I guess we'll, we'll go with that. Make this gray and typography, make it big, bold. And I'm going to add some text in here. I'm going to write log in to discover all the new awesomeness that you didn't even know existed. That'll be our text. I'm going to add an icon above the welcome. 
And I'm going to make this, let's see if I can find a fingerprint. There, it's not bad. Make the color of this also that dark gray. There we go. I'm going to add some padding to the whole column and click on the link again to unconnect all of these different padding inputs, the top, right, bottom, and left. Let's make that 20 from the from there. And 50, 20. Let's make this 50 as well. So 50, 20, 50, 20. And I don't like that. Let's increase the size to 30. That's better. And now our login is pretty much done. I want to add a border around this panel here. So it looks more like a full unit, these panels. So I'm going to go to the login and go to advanced and border, border type solid, border width of one and color this dark gray. Let's see if that works. That's too dark. Let's go with that. Now, if we preview this, it's hard to see because of the blue border from Elementor. If we preview this, this will be the full height when I'm not logged in. So we see the shrunken version here. And I don't want a border on this left hand side because we're bordering the yellow. So let's change, or let's click on the link so we can unlink these. And on the left, let's make this zero. Let's preview that again. Now we have it fitting right up against there. I think that's quite nice. And then I want to increase the padding on the bottom of this yellow panel, I think, because it's a little squishy down there. Let's make this 75. I'm gonna change this yellow to make it less like vomit and a little more happy. I said yellow, didn't I? Change the orange to make it a little more happy. I think it's a little happier right there. So now we have a pretty good looking login form. It's still a little bland because there's no background. I think I have to add some kind of background. Let's see what we can do there. Let's click on the section and let's go to style, background type of slideshow. I'm not gonna make it a slideshow. I'm just gonna have one image. That should work out just fine. Let's see if we have one on here that works. Maybe this cathedral right here. I'm sure this is a world famous cathedral, but I don't know what it is. If anybody knows, leave in the comments down below. I'm curious to know where this is and what it is. Anyway, so we have that in the background. Infinite loop, I'm gonna turn that to no. Background size, make it cover. Background position, change it to center center. That's probably the default. But as you change these, you see the background moving around. If the image is bigger, than the actual space it contains. If the background image is smaller, then the area it's containing has to be stretched out by using the cover option, then changing these won't do anything. Uh, let's see, background overlay. It looks a little loud, so I wanna have an overlay. Before I do that, actually, you see the background behind the login form is transparent. Let's change that so it's not transparent, which makes it look more like a panel. There we go. Let's go back to our background. I'm gonna add an overlay so it's not so intense back there. Overlay type of color, I'm make it a gradient. Color one of white, color two of gray, like that. And then up the opacity, so it's hidden away back there. All right, I think that looks pretty good. Let's preview that, see how that looks. I think that looks pretty awesome. Now, if I publish this, and then before I do that, before we go and view it live, let's look at the responsive mode. Let's look at it on tablet. I think that works pretty well on tablet and on mobile. I think that works pretty well too. Now let's go and view this incognito. Let's get the actual link to that page. There's a whole bunch. Oh, this one this is the latest one, 30 seconds ago. Let's copy this link. Let's go incognito. And here's our form. I think it looks pretty legit. Uh, if you log in, we need to have this redirect because if you just log in like this, it just keeps us on this page. We want it to redirect to somewhere. If you are the admin, you want to redirect it to the admin probably. If you are creating this for users, you want to redirect to somewhere else, like uh, an account page or some kind of most recent content page. Either way, you want to be redirecting to somewhere. Click on the pencil for the login, click on content, click on additional options, click on redirect after login and have a place to go here. So I'm just gonna make this the admin. HTTPS, let's just copy this 
domain wp admin. This will just take us into the admin page when we log in. So let's try that again. Let's log out and log in. Boom, admin page. Everything works great. So depending where you want to log into, you want to have a different URL there. So maybe this is a login page for clients. So you want to go to a client dashboard or editors and you want to go to a page that shows all the things you have to edit. Or if you're the admin, then this works just fine as it is. Another problem with the Elementor login is if you do something incorrectly, like the wrong password or wrong username, click on login, it goes to this page. If you're okay with that, that's okay. If you're not okay with that, there's a way to change it. I've linked to the tutorial on the card up above and the description down below where I walk through a free plugin you can add. It's called Profile Builder. And you make this so when it errors out, it stays on the actual login page. To do that, we have to get rid of the Elementor login form and replace it with the Profile Builder login form. And that'll require some additional tweaking, which you'll see in that video. But that is unfortunately how it works in Elementor right now. And that's what we have to do to get around this issue. Now that you've built your custom login form to replace the regular login form, check out this tutorial up here, which shows you how to create a custom login form on the front end of your WordPress site using Elementor. Check that out. And then check out this video right here, which shows you how to avoid the error in Elementor, where when they enter the wrong user details, it defaults back to the regular login form. This video shows a way to fix that. And if you haven't done so yet, please make sure to click subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss any future videos. My name is Bjorn Allpass from WP Learning Lab. Until next time, keep crushing it, and I will see you in the next video.